Hello and welcome everybody to HD Piano. My name is Dan and I am so excited to teach you how to play The Entertainer, composed by Scott Joplin in 1902. In this video, we'll look at the intro and the first half of the A section, which all sounds like this. One, two, ready, and. We're going to stop right there. I know that's abrupt, but there is a ton of music here. Now, you can find the rest of this lesson at hdpiano.com, where we'll learn the rest of the A section, B, C, D sections, a simplified version. This is a lot for many users, so I've created a simplified version on the website, as well as the whole song performance of this true advanced version. A question for you guys, what genre is this? That might be uh, an easy question for many of you, but some don't know, so comment below. What genre is The Entertainer? Okay, we're going to start. This is middle C, so we are one above middle C on this D, and then above that in our right hand on the D. And I'm going to just play the right hand because the left hand is actually copying it. So it's D, E, C, A, B, G. Try that with me. And I would use my middle finger on this B. So eventually we'll want to get it to this speed, right? And a good way to sort of approach something like that is just play it really slowly first. And then do it a little faster the next time if you can make it. Continually. And then eventually you're at recorded speed. So we play it three times, each at different octaves. First one up here, second one here, and then third one just above middle C. And then on that third time, we play, after the A, we play B, A, A flat, G. And then a nice big G chord, G, B, D, G. So here's the first four measures of the right hand. Okay, now the left hand copies that. It's a little bit more challenging with the left hand fingering, but take a look. So it's similar, all the notes are identical, uh, but this time we have a different fingering. So watch the right hand and left hand together. When the left hand pinky lands, we want to move the thumb to B. Okay. And this is the third and final time. So let's see if we can loop that a few times. Two, slow, burst. Faster. Ready and. Uh. Faster yet and. Now this is recorded speed about 155 BPM. One, two, ready and. Try that again. Here we go. Two, ready, and. There it is. And after that, we're into the A section. Okay, so the A section goes like this, right hand. And I'm going to stop right there. That's the first half of the A section. So, we're just above middle C. 
play D, D sharp, and then this is the iconic uh, riff that you're probably very familiar with. Right? So it's E, C, E, C, E, C. And then from there, we're into a very expansive chord, C, E, C. Shift it up to D, F, D, and then that up to D sharp, F sharp, D sharp, and then E, G, E. So we're chord planing. We're taking this shape, and we're doing what's called chord planing. And then we go down to B, D, B, and then D, F, D, and then C. So here's that riff again, really slowly in time. In conjunction with the first part of the A, a section, slowly, three and four. One, two, three. Okay, and then it actually just repeats. And we have a different riff after that. <clears throat> and I'll talk about that riff in the next video. So let's look at the left hand now before we speed things up. Okay, so that much is what we'll be looking at here. We play C. And we play E, G, C on top. So this is very common in this style of music. We've got the bass note and then a chord. That's not uncommon at all. So that's the left hand part we'll be highlighting here. So C and then E, C, G. And then G's in the bottom voice. And the chord is G, B flat, C. And then F's in the bottom voice, followed by A, C in the middle voice. And then E's followed by G, C in the middle voice. So let's recap those four chords. So it's a C. And then this is actually a C7 over G. And then an F chord. C over E. From there, we play a G in the root, we pop up to this C chord, E, G, C. G in the root again, pop up to F, G, B, that's a G7 chord. And then we land where we started, on this C chord broken. So hands together, first few bars of the A section, really, really slowly. Two, E, and, uh, how's it? Four E and uh. and then we repeat. Excuse me. We're gonna stop right there. So that's the A section, super slow mo. I'll do it again, real slow. Three. Okay, good. Let's pick up the speed on that a little bit. One, E, and a, two, E, and a, three, and four. Same thing. Two, and play. again a little faster. Two E and a ready and a play. Okay. And let's
let's try it one more before recorded speed. Three e and four e. <laughs> Recorded speed. One, two, and one, two, three. Okay, so you understand this is probably the most challenging piece I've ever taught in this library, maybe the most challenging piece I've ever played, frankly. I've been practicing it for the last few weeks in preparation for this lesson. So you have to understand it's going to take some practice, right? Uh, we can't go from uh, this, we can't go from this to this. We can't do that in 10 minutes, right? So you're going to have to sit down, practice this. And if it does feel way too overwhelming, if you're like, this is, this is impossible for me, go to our website and check out the simplified version, okay? I've created a very basic rendering of this that would maybe be like a grade two in the piano book grading standards. So take a look. The rest of the lesson is at hdpiano.com anyway. I would love to see you there. If you're on YouTube, give us a comment, a thumbs up, share this video. Uh, find us on social media. Say, hey, we are doing cool things all over the internet. Again, my name is Dan. This is hdpiano.com, the home of the hybrid piano lesson. I'll see you for part two.